Hello, I'm back. So now I'm trying. To, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate incorporate your wire with your crochet. So if you don't like threading your wire to your flower, so you will need to the stem for the stem of the flower. You will need this 30 ga and millimeter. So this is 30 ga. See, floral wire. In another, this one is thicker. This is two and uh, what do you call it? this is 24 GA. To make the stem, this one, you will wrap it around so it will be stronger to reinforce the strength of the stem. And of course, you need your floral tape and floral wire cutter. So let's cut and for this uh, tutorial only I'll cut a little small amount okay to show you how to and to make it very long if you want to put a lot of uh, uh, well if you don't like just cutting and cutting and just cut one and then you do it like tapestry so this is done okay now I'm going to I bend the wire. Okay. Put the other side of it. Like this one. So it's kind of tough. See you will have to crochet the wire in the thread this is not the pattern I'll just show you how how it works so you will have to do the stitches as the pattern said don't follow my stitch I'm just showing this to to let you uh, to show you to help you how to do it with the incorporating the wire now if you make the wire very long you just bend it at the bottom of the flower and if you reach your the point of your flower if you need to slip stitch there of course you will miss the wire so you just bend it and go to the next stitch you still have to get the wire see oh sorry well cotton spots this one does okay so you see you are crocheting the wire putting it So this wall, the wire that you're incorporating in your petal will serve as the stem. Well, it will carry the petal and it will make a stem like the one I made. So, do not put all, all wire to the petal because it will not have a, a natural look. It will be very tough only some or um, if you have six petals um, put uh, three wires or put wires to its alternate alternately okay now suppose your your wire is long and you want to just continue to the next and skip the next petal no wire you just bend your wire like this one okay and then it it would just go around like that and then skip the next petal no wire and then go to the next petal okay and then you will have if you if you will use just one long wire you will just have to do this it will serve as a stem and and reinforce that reinforce it with a stronger wire just uh, put it here something like that before you do the pie coat okay now with your um, 
with the lips. So I said, the lips is made in, it's a set of three leaves. Okay. Now this is already made. I have crocheted this lips with the wire I showed you. So you just have to like bend it like this one. Okay, bend and twist, 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 and of course you put your, do it with a floral tape, use your floral tape to hide all of this, of the wire, to have a natural look. Okay. Oh, one thing about uh, the wire is you can fashion the lips like this one, fashion it see to look at to give a real look okay there and if the flower is done you have to see if the colors are really appropriate for each other okay and if that is done you have put the wire on the tape now you gotta reinforce the stem with your green or yeah yeah darker wire okay so like that and then you're gonna go and attach your leaves and flower to your creeper vine and you have a clematis vine okay so i hope it helps this video helps you doing my pattern if you have any question i'll be glad to help bye